This is Notepad. I'm your host, Ibrahim Sani. Uh, in this evening's show, I will be speaking with Iman Research when they have uh, jointly issued a statement with REFSA uh, on the exit strategy for the country coming out of this uh, MCO that must include uh, the ability to earn. That's coming up shortly after the break. But before we go into that, we have to really talk about what has happened uh, throughout the week because, um, as we all know, um, corporate Malaysia has been shaken by the revelations uh, of both KPMG as well as Cerber Dynamic because they quite literally uh, are at loggerheads right now. The case has now since become a court case. Um, but it's worth noting that Cerber Dynamic is trying its best to win back market confidence. Today, Cerber Dynamic Holdings posted revenue of 1.38 billion ringgit for Q5 FY21. Why Q5 is because they are changing uh, their calendar year uh, to end every June. Uh, in their filing towards Bursa um, some time ago, they were talking about uh, if they continue to file uh, at end year December, then uh, that would add up to the clog uh, that is happening right now when all the companies in the country mostly have their year end in December. That's why it's Q5. But beside that, we have to also talk about what it has happened when it comes to the share price and market reception towards what Cyberdynamic has done. Uh, because uh, their share price hit a record low, uh, as low as 43 cents actually today. I'm not too sure what the uh, closing uh, price was, but generally speaking, it's a pretty, pretty uh, new low, 52-week uh, low. In fact, this is the lowest since they've been uh, since listing a few years ago. Having said that, it is worth also noting that the two bodies, uh, when it comes to uh, the accountancy profession uh, in this country, have also uh, issued statements throughout the week. MIGPA, uh, the Malaysian Institute of Certified uh, Public Accountants, says that the role in promoting integrity of the financial reporting process is paramount for external auditors. They say that MIGPA, as the National Professional Accountancy Body of Malaysia, as well as a founder member of the International Federation of Accountants, wish to reiterate that an auditor playing an essential role in providing a check and balance for an entity's annual report and financial reporting and in contribution to an efficient and transparent capital market for its stakeholders, reaffirming the position that the body has taken when it comes to defending external auditors. Concurrently, Malaysian Institute of Accountants um, have also issued a statement saying that auditors are bound by the professional profession's code of ethics. The Malaysian Institute of Accountants, they say, wish to reiterate that the role of the approved statutory auditors is to provide reasonable assurance on whether the financial statements prepared by reporting entities are true and fair. And of course, MIA continues saying that the external audit through this process, auditors plays an important role in promoting confidence in the quality and reliability of audited financial statements in the country. Meanwhile, we have uh, gotten confirmation that the Securities Commission have indeed uh, raided the premises of Serba Dynamic, acting upon what has been received from them by KPMG. And uh, towards the later end of the week, KPMG has since uh, quit from being the auditors of Cyberdynamic in relation to Cyberdynamic hiring an outside counsel, in this case, Tan Sri Shafi Abdullah, as uh, the individual and perhaps the firm, uh, his firm, representing the organisation in the civil suit between Cyberdynamic as well as KPMG. All this has happened over the past few weeks and of course this is testing the Malaysian corporate system, the Malaysian uh, integrity in terms of uh, financial accounting as well as the method of how external auditors behave when it comes to unveiling and unraveling uh, the items that they have unearthed through the audit process. In defense of Cyberdynamic, they argue that such due process wasn't done in normal circumstances and because of that, they are taking KPMG to court because of KPMG's um, way of doing things have resulted in the massive uh, loss of market capitalization value of suburb dynamic in this case uh, well more than that three billion ringgit to date so we couldn't uh, discuss a lot more because like I said earlier this is now a matter of the courts to decide but it is worth noting that all this is happening right now and it's worth to follow each and every piece of the news moving forward all right, um, when we come back, I will have Badru of Iman Research coming on the show. We'll be right back after these messages.